Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today we are talking about concert booking system in ASP.NET Core and that query asked by the commenters and subscribers uh, and a subscriber mailed me uh, to sir please uh, design a concert booking system looking like that and uh, here we have uh, multiple con concert and um, that perform multiple performer and if you open any concert looking like that the concert name concert date price venue and total available seats of the concert only one user can uh, enter into the concert uh, at a time so just uh, reserved a single seat at this uh, at the con uh, at a uh, concert so also performer name genre and the description of the concert will be shown if you are organizer of the concert, then you need to this types of the project in, uh, in a web application. You know that. So uh, if you are organizer and you organize a new concert uh, and you want to book a tickets online, then you, you have a right place to here. So just uh, click on it, the book now, and you will get uh, a Stripe method to get the payment and also you will uh, get the tickets. Okay. So... Uh, let's do it and how to design concert booking system and how, uh, how we manage the concert booking okay so uh, here i'm going to use uh, simple uh, visual studio 2022 and uh, just creating a repository pattern also we have a simple models of the concert booking system so just i'm going to design a repository pattern right here so let's let's do start it First of all, I'm going to create a new project uh, in ASP.NET Core. So here we have a ASP.NET Core web application model view controller. And just I'm going to add this application like uh, uh, consult booking uh, dot web project just I'm going to say. So here we have a 7.0.NET standard 7.0 and you can use earlier version also like 6.0. Uh, so just create it. Uh, and now we are going to con now the first project is to do that is the model project so just i'm going to add uh, a many to many relationship model so just create a new project and here i'm going to use class library project and uh, that is the concert booking dot models okay so the default class first to delete and now we are going to add a new models that is performer model as well as the concert model. So just create a new empty file. So I'm giving the name that is uh, performer.cs and the next one is uh, that is concert.cs. Okay, so uh, here I'm using so first of all, I'm going to uh, uh, I'm going to show you the details of the concert. So here we have a concert detail, and suggested by the uh, you can say that uh, GitHub Copilot. So here we have a concert ID that is the primary key of the concert title, date, venue, price, total number of seats uh, in a concert. So also here we have a concert have multiple concert performer. So you can say just copy that concert performer and create a new class like that models and add a new empty file and here we have a concert performer or cs so the the middle table or you can say that junction table between the concert and the performer is created now uh, you know that a concert have multiple performer and a performer have multiple concert so uh, in the concert in the performer table just i'm going to add these properties like that id name genre and the concert performer like that so just use control dot and you can say that id name genre and the concert performer is suitable so now in the junction table concert performer here we have some properties related to the concert and the performer suggested by the copilot that is integer concert id concert performer and performer id so here we have uh, these concert ID, concert and performer and performer ID. Uh, this is not actually uh, make it uh, nullable, just, but I want to take it nullable. Why? Because just I want to remove the, um, you can say that uh, if, I if I delete the performer, then concert ID is not deleted. Okay. 
so just make it a nullable and if you are make it a nullable just find a pop id property in the concept performer table so here we have okay so everything you know that but uh, if you make it nullable then set the fluent api in your application db context so here we have a three table and in, in that in these tables we have a many to many relationship between these okay so first of all handle uh, many to many uh, or you can say that a design a application db context class so there is we have a new uh, project name that is repositories and or you can say that is services because here i'm using repository pattern so just i'm going to create a repositories folder so new project and just i'm going to add a class library project and that is concert booking dot repositories okay so here we have concert booking dot repositories the project name okay so first of all uh, you know that uh, class one that is default to delete it and make it a application db context in the repositories so uh, new file application db context dot cs okay now we are going to use application user. Uh, so this time I'm going to add a application user class also. So add in the model. And here we have add empty class application user.cs. And application user class is actually inherited with the identity user class. Okay. So identity user is actually exist in Microsoft ASP.NET Core dot and uh, identity dot entity framework code, you know. So just I'm going to add that package in the models folder. So manage NuGet package. And here I'm going to add identity. And uh, in the identity, just you can specify Microsoft dot ASP.NET Core dot Identity dot Entity Framework Core. So let us table is 7.0.4. You have to install it in the models folder. Okay. So now after that, just remove that error from the models folder. So here we have. Now just double click on the models project and just use item groups just after closing the property group. And in the repositories uh, project, just I'm going to just double click on the repositories. And here I'm going to add item group. Package reference is include Microsoft ASP.NET Core dot identity dot enter framework core and looking like. So just save this, save all. Now again come to the application DB context. And here I'm going to add identity DB context and inside it you can use application user so use control dot using microsoft adding reference to uh, models concert bookings to model and also remove the identity db context from entity framework core okay so this time i'm going to add ctor and inside it you can take db context options And here I'm going to add application DB context options colon base class of options. Okay, so everything is fine. Now just I'm going to add two classes that is concert and performer. So public DB set concert concert and the next one is for db set oops performer and performance okay now the next step is to do that is uh, adding the fluent api in model creating so just override your project 
own model creating. So the first thing you you need, you need to do uh, in your this that is the consult and this time I'm going to add you know that uh, the middle table just I want to say so the middle table is concert performer for uh, the middle table is concert performer okay okay so uh, performer dot has one concert dot with many performers concert performers dot as for key and you know that uh, it's a performer id so dot on delete so dot oops performer uh, dot on delete delete behavior dot oops delete behavior enumeration dot set null okay so uh, here we have a for the concert just i'm going to add performer so uh, that, that is the concert performer has one performer and just with many concert performer and here we have a performer id uh, just i will going to add concert id and here we have a performer id and delete behavior that is set null okay so everything is fine now just i'm going to add a services and just I'm going to add, you know that uh, DB context is added. So add a identity in the project. So add new scaffold item. And here we have a identity. <coughs> Before going to add identity, first of all, add reference of the repositories as well as uh, models in the web. And if you want to add view models project, though, so there is a no need to add models in the web because uh, here we have some view models. So first of all, when we add override our file, but you not, notice that uh, here we have not anything. So just of all, first of all, close all these and just add a reference in the project. So just right click on dependencies, add project reference. And just I'm going to add models as well as repositories. Okay, so very well. Now just right click on the web project again and add a new scaffold item. And in the scaffold item, just I'm going to add identity. So uh, here we have uh, uh, scaffolding, updating dependencies, project uh, reference, building project, retrieving information from scaffold, override all files. And here we have application DB context, but notice that here we have user classes not there. So just create it first, new application DB context. And here I'm going to add a new application user instead of application user just I'm going to add it add now the basic difference between the application user and uh, scaffolding uh, application DB context notice that uh, dependency is created wait for some times for the concert booking system it's a very interesting project and you can do and you can design yourself. Okay, so wait for some times. In this project, just I'm going to add Facebook authentication, Google authentication as well. 
so here we have uh, identity project and in the identity project here we have a identity folder and just under the identity here we have application user as well as concert booking web context so just delete that data uh, folder from here and you notice that here we have a pages and in inside the application app settings folder uh, concert booking web context connection is created so just uh, here we have a database name that is concertbooking.pap and also here we have a program.cs file and inside the program.cs file here we have a add default identity is created with the uh, uh, this uh, context. So just I'm going to add application db context right here. Application db context. So here we have a application db context. And just I'm going to use application user as well as identity role. But uh, make some changes in the add default identity. Instead of default identity, you can use add identity. And here we have a uh, application DB context right here. So use control C and copy control V. Okay, now you can see that application user is actually existing in concertbooking.models. Very well, now save this. You can notice that everything is fine. 